The twist. That word can have different meanings. It can for, we, refer to a type of ice cream cone, a dance, or in some stories, an author may use it to to spin a story on what on unexpected ending. In my story, my lucky day, Kiko Kaisa tells a story about a sly fox who is tr trying to trick an innocent looking pig into being his dare. But listen to his actually sly and tricky. People of all ages will enjoy this twisted tale. One day, a hungry fox was preparing to hunt for his dinner. As he polished his claws, he was startled by a knock at the door. Hey, Rabbit! Vaughn yelled outside. Are you home? Rabbit! Thought the fox, if there are any rabbits in here, I'd have eaten them for breakfast. When the fox opened the door, there stood a delicious looking piglet. Oh no! Screamed the piglet. Oh yes, cried the fox. You have come to the right place. He grabbed the piglet and hauled them inside. This must be my lucky day, the fox shouted. How often does dinner come knocking on the door? The piglet kicked and screamed. you! Let me go! Let me go! Sorry, pal, said the fox. This isn't just any dinner. It's a pig roast. My favorite! Now get into the roasting pan! It was useless to struggle. All right, sighed piglet. I will, but there's just one thing. What? Growled the fox. Well, I'm a pig, you know. I'm filthy. Shouldn't you wash me first? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, the fox said to himself. He is filthy. So the fox got busy. He collected twigs. He made a fire. He carried it in the water. And finally, he gave the piglet a nice bath. You're a terrific scrubber, said Piglet. There, said the fox. Now you're the cleanest Piglet in the county. You stay still now. All right, said the Piglet. I will, but, but what? Growled the fox. Well, I'm a very small Piglet, you know. Shouldn't you have fattened me up to get more meat? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, the fox said to himself. He is on the small side. So the fox got busy. He picked tomatoes, he made spaghetti, he baked cookies, and finally, he gave the piglet a nice dinner. You're a terrific cook. All right, sighed the piglet. I will, but what, what, what? Shouted the fox. Well, I'm a hardworking pig, you know. My meat is awfully tough. Shouldn't you massage me first? to make more tender roast? Just a thought, Mr. Fox. Hmm, the fox said to himself. I do prefer tender meat. So the fox got busy. He pushed and pulled. He squeezed and patted the piglet from head to toe. You give a terrific massage, said Piglet. But the piglet continued. I've been working really hard lately and my back is awfully stiff. Could you push a bit harder, Mr. Fox? A little to the right? Please? Yes! 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 Now just a little to the left. Mr. Fox, are you there? But Mr. Fox was no longer listening. He had passed out, exhausted. He couldn't lift a finger, let alone a roasting pan. Poor Mr. Fox, said the, sighed the piglet. He had a busy day. Then the cleanest, fattest, and softest piglet in the county picked up the rest of, rest of his cookies and headed for home. Ooh, what a bath! What a dinner! What a massage! Cried the piglet. This must be my lucky day. When he got home, the piglet relaxed before a warm fire. Let's see, he wondered, looking at his address book. Who shall I visit next? <laughs>